Muy buenas y bienvenidos un día más a un rato con Shulato Y vamos a cerrar ya por fin la trilogía de nuestro gran Shepa Más efectos Vamos a enfrentarnos a los segadores y a liberar la galaxia ¿Qué ocurrirá? ¿La salvaremos? ¿No la salvaremos? Lo veremos a continuación Recordad que estos son los extractos del canal morado Y ahora sin más dilación del vídeo Pues venga, vamos para allá Y vamos a darle la entrevista a la pava esa Mientras no intente nada raro Coño No sabía que teníamos el baño No había entrado todavía aquí Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? The most exciting thing you can think of is playing chess. Well, if you're not up for the challenge, try me. No. No, eh, no, no, no. Oh, come on. <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Vale Vale Esta parece que hemos esquivado la bala Trainer, ¿puedes enviar a Diana? Ella quería una entrevista Right away, Commander ¿Estás listo para un chat, Commander? Estoy listo Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has sufrido some serious losses to the Reapers lately Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. I think I see. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Uh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. Adios, adios. Fuera, 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 fuera. 
Como mucho se lo consentirá Ashley. Yep. Joder. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier I is the only I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I lot to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol checking on some strange readings. And the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, <laughs> waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collectorship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone, right? Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Only you can make that decision, James. But I think you already know the answer. I'm glad you think so. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, loco. Anytime. Adiós, adiós. Y tú por qué le insinúas la cama, cabrón? Vale, hemos terminado. Nos faltan cinco. No. Una, dos. Faltan dos o tres maquetas todavía. Puesto de mando. Joder, ahora la cámara de guerra. Ahora de uso yo no me van a dejar tranquilo. Y muchísimas gracias por haber llegado hasta aquí Eso supongo que es Que te está entreteniendo el vídeo O te está ayudando, vete tú a saber 
por aquí abajo os dejo las redes sociales, Instagram, Twitch, YouTube, bla 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 bla, donde podéis venir a verme a cada día, de lunes a jueves en Twitch, viernes y sábado y domingo, viernes descanso, obviamente, algún día hay que tener de fiesta, así que os dejo con el vídeo y hasta pronto. Pues si hemos hablado hace 10 minutos. Been putting my old academy training to use, organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Turians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Lek. Fuerza que tal. Hemos perdido. No teníamos 1881. Ahora 1808. Ahí, que estamos perdiendo fuerza. Vamos a Portali. Que ya la, ya la necesito en mi equipo. A ver. Aquí, muelle 42. Vale. Are you Bray? Ah, uh, the great commander Shepard. <laughs> And me without my autograph book. Si quieres hey, autografiar la cara. Take me to Aria. Follow me. So where is she? Shepard. <clears throat> Aria, how dramatic. There are too many eyes and ears in Purgatory. I assume this is about retaking Omega. This is about your war, Shepard. Cerberus controlling the Terminus system seriously bolsters their mobility. Since taking Omega, they've spread through the galaxy. Surely the Alliance has noticed. Cut to the chase. What's your plan? Kick them out. I've amassed a fleet of Merc ships we're going to punch through enemy lines and invade. Once we're on Omega, it's a ground war. That's why I want you. I only accept the best. The leader of the Cerberus occupation is General Oleg Petrovsky. He's the one who ousted me. Don't know him. The elusive man's top military strategist and best kept secret. But all you really need to know is that he's a merciless bastard. What's your intel on the occupation? 
Petrovsky's army is massive and he's got Omega Lock tight. The information stops there. So you're winging it? Not at all. There are secrets on Omega only I know. Secrets that will provide us a foothold. I can tell you this. Petrovsky's invasion was precise and ruthless. We'll stop at nothing to win. Sounds familiar. Shepard, I know my reputation. I know I'm hated. I ruled Omega with an iron fist. But the people were free. Their lives were theirs. I preserved that. This man took all that away, and he is going to pay. When Omega is mine again, I'll give you everything. I've got ships, mercs, Ezo, all yours for the war. What's the catch? I have objections to some of the company you keep. So you'll have to leave the Normandy and its crew behind. My crew are professionals. Let's just say... I want you all to myself. Yeah, una misión en solitario. Bray will provide coordinates to my fleet. Oh, and while we're still in the Citadel, please be discreet. The fleet is hidden in this system. Signal me when you're on your way. Ari and I will meet you on the command ship. <laughs> Can't wait to see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> pues vas a fliparlo, cabrón. Hostia. Hay un momento que teníamos... He visto que teníamos apartamento propio. sent me a message about this apartment? I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge, clear your head. Kaylee wanted us to settle down there. Thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. And I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. That's very generous. It's practical. We need you in the best shape possible. Rested. Focused. If you say so. Thank you. And make yourself at home, damn it. It's yours now. I'm sure I can manage. Okay, good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful out there, Anderson. You too, Shepard. Coño. Pues ni tan mal, ¿no? Pedazo casaca. Joder, macho.
turned to the soldier beside me, Hendrix, I think, and asked him how his mother was doing. Fine, he said. <laughs> Why? Because I heard your mama so ugly the Marines thought she was a Torian. Almost shot her. <laughs> I got a few smiles. Then Hendrix turned to me and said, Hell, Anderson, I heard it was a picture of your mama that started this goddamn war in the first place. Scared the Torian shitless. <laughs> Y todo va a salir bien. <coughs> Hostia puta macho. Pues sí que hay notas de este hombre por aquí, ¿no? Aseo, personalizado. Onda, si se puede personalizar acá. <coughs> Se puede personalizar la casa y todo, joder, como mola, ¿no? Bueno, vamos a hacer una pausa y ahora continuamos. Se pueden hacer felices hasta ahora.